Hey guys, Paul here from Running Injury Free Revolution and uh, we've had a few questions about Achilles pain and I probably just wanted to show you a couple of things with Achilles pain. Uh, probably the first thing we think about is that uh, we want to check whether the, the runner who has Achilles type pain is a bit of a pusher. Uh, so sometimes what that means is that they're really using force to get them going rather than their body position and, and gravity. So uh, if you're running really fast or if you happen to be sort of like a, a real heel strike, you're out in front and then as you come through, you, you, you're upright and you push to, 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 um, to get that propulsion. Um, so we always want to get you to relax your, your calves as, as much as possible because basically they should go on for the ride. You're upright, you're using your length, center of gravity is out in front and then your, your legs are very soft. So concentrate on that uh, if you have any Achilles pain. Um, but I just want to show you a couple of things. I want to show you how to start rehabbing Achilles pain, looking at sort of some eccentric loading. And I want to show you just a couple of little, little strategies that you can use to release it when you're doing something like that as well. First things first with your Achilles is basically you want to be aware of these muscles that can refer into that area. So I'm always very aware. We did a video recently on on uh, tip post. So this high little tip post point. So um, uh, we almost got our joint line there. It's probably about three thumb distances down. Sit in behind and then lock him back. So do you want to just have a go at that yourself, Inch? <laughs> And then, so you can actually, yeah, get it with a single thumb if you're strong like Ange. Um, the, uh, or you can double it up like that. That's cool. And then the other one, we'll just get you rolling over, that you want to be very aware of is, um, is your little soleus point. So uh, we'll just basically, uh, muscular tendinous junction, uh, which is about there, and he's just slightly medial to that. So just on the inside, get a picture of Ange's face while we do this. You're right. <laughs> So, so you can usually tell when you're on it. The, um, we'll sit on that one for, for 20 seconds as well. So remember with these points, guys, anything puffy, swollen, warm, red, inflamed, if you had any circulation issues, um, just you got to get to dock and, and check it out uh, before you do that. Cool. So we want to look at strengthening, and basically you want to start with your eccentric strength first. So I'll just show you the difference. Basically, Angie, if you want to just go up on your toes, so what Angie's doing, she's contracting the muscle and the fibres are, are shortening. So that's a concentric contraction. An eccentric contraction is you contract the muscle and you don't want to drop down. So see that the muscle's lengthening as she contracts. So it's really important to start looking at eccentric loading for your Achilles first. And research tells us that that's the best way to start rehabbing your, your Achilles types of, of pain. So what we're going to do is double leg first. So Angie's basically, she's got a bit of support there and she's going to drop down so make sure you don't drop so a lot of people will drop in that first section um you make sure you're working all the way through and then you can really indulge in on this stretch so make it pain free guys it's got to be pain free see that angie's controlling her pressure with her hand as well and then up again so if it was hurting to push up you you, you push through you could have more than this you could have a wall in front a bar in front and then dropping down so you're really indulging that stretch so i would i would we would normally get our people to make sure that they can do three lots of ten if they were really sore um they they could just do the eccentric contraction so you drop and then they could actually like step off step back on and then drop again so it's just an eccentric contraction okay and then we'll do single legs so you can progress So again, you can control how much pressure you put through. So, so if this felt like it was too much, then then uh, just put more weight through. So you're just uh, supporting yourself. And and he's going to drop through. So you usually start a bit lighter with this one. So so you know three lots of five just as you start. That's a concentric contraction. And then this is eccentric. So this is where we're doing our work. So she's working right the way through. Okay. And then one more and then dropping again so working right from the top making sure you're controlling that you don't drop through at all so three lots of five and then obviously you know you're a runner guys so you're gonna have to progress that right up but it's a really good little rehabby one um, anyone who's had Achilles problems will um, yeah, we'll go into that calf stretch anyone who's had Achilles problems will, will start to incorporate this in their program uh, and now we're just gonna do your stretches so remember you got two muscles in your calf always remember that um, you've got gastrocnemius and which is what you're stretching there it crosses the joint so it's a knee straight 
and soleus, which you can actually see the little head of the soleus on that outside through there, and just got toned legs. Uh, so, so two lots of stretches, three, um, uh, 30 seconds each stretch, guys. That's a really good one. Thanks, Ange. Cool guys, so get into your Achilles, start looking at the trigger pointing it, start thinking about the muscles that do refer into that region, uh, and then also we want to start strengthening it. So eccentric contractions first, so the muscle is contracting as it, it lengthens. So um, best way to do it, get into, I would do um, three lots of 10, make sure you're okay with the double leg first, then three lots of five of the single leg, and then you can progress up from there as you feel uh, confident and pain free. If you have Achilles issues, really good to have a little eccentric program. And sometimes you might be doing like three lots of 30 of your single leg stuff, even as a, as a warm up for your running, you can do it in between runs as well. So we do that with a lot of our athletes to, to make sure that they do keep that length and strength at all times, particularly if they've had a previous uh, history. So have fun with that guys, uh, be safe, paint free at all times. Guys, I'm Paul from Running Injury Free Revolution. Check us out at riffrev.com.